Welcome to Terry's Kitchen where we talk food, faith, and family. So today is actually we are filming on Thanksgiving Day. I am going to be making um, our stuffing balls and I had a request uh, from my uh, niece Casey and nephew Cody and said, where are you going to put your stuffing balls on video? But I need a turkey and some turkey broth in order to do that. So this video you will not see prior to Thanksgiving, but hopefully you would consider making this for your family uh, during the Christmas um, season. So, but before we get started, I'd like to read Psalm 118, 1 through 4. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. And isn't it wonderful that we have the Lord's love and protection over our households? Definitely, Father, gracious Lord, I just thank you, Father, for this day, for this is the day that you have made. This is the day that we stop, pause, and give thanksgiving and thanks, you know, for all that you have done for us. We thank you, Lord, for all those that are watching this video. We thank you, Lord, that you bless them. Bless them this day and um, definitely all in the future. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for as we go to make um, these stuffing balls and, and then sit down and, and fellowship together, we thank you, Lord, that your presence is with us. We ask all of this in your precious name. Amen. So thank you for letting me do that. I'm going to wash my hands and we'll get started. Okay, I do not have Cody or Casey here with me today to make the uh, stuffing balls. So I'm going to get started and show you how what I have here. As you can see, I have a lot of croutons. So basically this is five bags of soft uh, croutons. So what I do is I have uh, let this sit um, overnight. I let it out yesterday, put it on a cookie sheet and to kind of harden up. So what I'm also what I have here, so if you don't want to make all this amount of stuffing, um, you certainly don't. You can just adjust according to your family. So what I have here, and I've been letting this cool, it is actually one stalk, whole stalk bunch of celery that I had mom chopping that yesterday. So just chop it fine. I have three large onions that I chopped. <laughs> And we got a, a dog here that's sniffing around and, and doing a little coughing. So two, so I'm going to add this, but let me tell you what I did to prepare the celery and onions. So what I did, so again, a full stalk of celery, the three onions chopped. I added that to two, four cups of water, and then I added a stick and a half of butter that I cook that and to where the onions and the celery are um, nice and tender. Then my pan for the turkey was a little overflowing. So I went ahead and added two cups of my turkey broth. So what I'm going to do is just mix this up so that I don't have croutons all over the floor. So because with this wet um, ingredients that I'm adding, it's going to soften these up and to where I can stir it a little better. And the reason that you want to let your celery and onions cool, because when it comes time to add those egg yolks, you don't want to go ahead and start cooking that. So get this mixed up. So as our family loves stuffing balls, we do not stuff a turkey. Mom started making stuffing balls when we were growing up. All right, so I'm mixing that in. So I'm going to, I have 10 eggs that I have already cracked and I'm gonna go ahead and add those to get those worked in. So today, uh, 
wanted to get this out and this video and like I said when Cody's in town he comes and he helps me Catherine helps me if I pull her in to get these all mixed up I'm losing breadcrumbs everywhere here but get those eggs mixed up there now I also add salt and pepper so I did two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of black pepper in when I'm cooking my onions and celery because you, I have already um, put salt into my turkey uh, broth so you don't need to add any more salt than uh, the two teaspoons there okay so I've mixed the eggs up there so now I'm going to bring in that turkey broth. Now we've done this with making stuffing balls with roast beef too. You can use uh, roast beef uh, broth. So I've started out because I wasn't sure how much I would use. So this is five cups of turkey broth. That's hot. So I'm just going to put that around because what you're trying to do you don't want to get, get your um, the stuffing too moist but you want to be able for it to, to hold together into the ball now as you can see I've got an awful lot here however we love the stuffing left over the next day sometimes it's good just picking up and breaking it apart and eating it. Just sprinkle some on there. There we go. I think that's probably going to be enough. Again, this uh, dressing recipe is from mom and um, that we've done and it certainly is a family favorite. Okay, so that's about the consistency. Now, this is where, because it's a little hot, I'm just going to be quick about it. So instead of making them, we make them into like a hamburger patty size and flatten them down. Make another. Now, I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Most likely these are going to take about an hour to cook and they'll be ready just when everything else is ready to come out to the table. So that's kind of, so I've got my, my work ahead of me here. So I'm just going to continue making the stuffing balls. So we'll be back online. I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. So the stuffing balls are finished. I just brought the first tray out of the oven. So they baked about 45 minutes. Um, I did have to put it up to 375 just to get them brown because I have three trays in the oven. There is actually, with the amount that I made, I have 37 stuffing balls. And uh, there's going to be no problem for us uh, eating these up. And again, they're great um, a couple days later too. So. So let me pull one off the tray. And I did use parchment paper and put a little bit of um, um, uh, cooking spray on there just so that they have a nice brown um, undercoating here. They're cool enough. I'm just going to break that apart. I'll just look at that. Mm. I've got my gravy on the stove there. So I'm getting ready to, we're going to get ready and sit down and, and have our, our dinner. And uh, so let me taste this, see how it turned out. Perfect. Casey, Cody, kids, the rest of the family, I think you're going to enjoy it. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. We, uh, this is, like I said, Thanksgiving Day for us, but it's gonna, this video will be out um, definitely before Christmas that hopefully you would make uh, these stuffing balls for your family. Thank you so much for watching our videos, liking, 
sharing, and subscribing. We do love and appreciate each and every one of you. Blessings.